Cindy out here with my RC Endeavors. How are you doing today? Um, I'm doing pretty good. We are here to talk about my creative year. And of course, as you guys know, this week's um, prompt is warning. I'm going to give you a warning. When you get into mixed media, you end up... Let me flip this up a little bit. Hang on. Let me see if I can... A little bit. Let's do it a little bit more. I'm going to kind of tip it back. There we go. Um, my warning is, is be careful because what happens is you become a collector of all things. Now that includes books, um, fabrics, just plain papers, envelopes, stickers. This is just one of my, this is postcards from a friend, um, rub-ons painted papers. This is just one of my baskets of just odd and end random stuff. Um, you know, I, I, I just, you collect all kinds of things because you never know what you're going to be able to use. Let me stand up so I can actually see what's in here. All right, so this is all just painted papers. This is a book. Um, and it's in a different language. Well, some of it is. Um, and what I just, I love the fact that it's got handwriting in it. And I rip out a page and I use it for um, mixed media products, projects. I also use these search a word books. I think it's cool just to have a bunch of letters on a page. Uh, this book is in either Chinese or Japanese. I'm not sure which. But again, I found this like at a thrift store or a, I don't know, um, maybe at a dollar store. I think it was a thrift store. And so again, just a book. Patterns, um, actual sewing patterns because, ouch, that's got, a, that's got a pin on it. Let's take that pin out of there. Um, just sewing patterns because it's really cool to have this on the background of a mixed media piece. What else do we have? Dictionary pages. This is was an envelope that I took the bubble wrap off and I kept the outside of the envelope because I love these poppies. I thought it was cool. This a friend of mine sent to me. She weave she did a weaving. I don't know if that's woven. It's woven out of scraps of paper, so I love that. This is a Japanese or Chinese, I think Japanese treat bag. That these were really good, by the way. I don't know what they are, but they were these little round. Oh man, they were good. Um, this is going to a restaurant, and I always ask them if they send, you know, give you the stuff in this type of a paper. I always ask them for a clean one because it's cool to put in your journals. This is this was a sponge, pumice sponge, and this is really hard and thick. So I thought, what a great tag that would make. Writing paper, notepads. This is stuff, I believe, I don't know, this was my Artist Loft and Arteza. Uh, labels. This is fabric, uh, sticky back fabric. So I use that. This is just a piece of black corrugated cardboard. And again, this is my warning. You end up collecting all kinds of stuff because it all just looks really cool. That was a grumpy cat, mechanical pens. Um, these, for some reason, I kept because I thought they were cool. They'd make cool somethings. Let's see, uh, lottery or bingo cards, more envelopes, a popcorn bag, music paper, handmade paper. I actually made these at a retreat. Isn't that really cool? Here's another one. It was fun making those. Oh, let's see. Painted papers. This is a backdrop paper. Envelopes. Uh, this is a another envelope. Uh, magazine clippings. You end up cutting stuff out because you think, oh, that'd be really neat on a piece of art. Uh, there's more magazine clippings. Let's see. What else do we have in here? More paper bags. Just miscellaneous pieces of paper that probably should go in the trash, but I won't. Because, see, I might cut her out, or I might cut some of this out. Who knows? 
Oh, uh, let's see. Different. This is comics. Um, this paper, I get these out of the Sunday paper that my in-laws get because this paper is a really nice, thick newspaper. And I like using these in some of the stuff. Um, here's a hero bag, which actually never had a hero in it. But again, uh, let's see. These are watercolor pieces that... I believe Gina did these. She sent to me in a happy mail. So I'll end up using these in some way. Uh, more music paper. Coloring book pages. Um, I'll take a coloring book page and I'll color it um, just while I'm watching TV or something. And then eventually I'll cut it out and use it in something, some kind of art. Uh, magazine pages again. Let's see. More magazine pages. Uh, these are a rub-on. Bow Bunny rub-on. What else? Here's some... This is that lawn and garden. Um, they make these really big paper bags to put your lawn and garden clippings in. I have found these are wonderful. They're really cheap. You can get like five of them for four bucks or something. And I love the paper because it's nice and thick and this is really great to paint on. So I'll save those. Metallic, this is probably, it looked like it came off a box or an envelope or something. So we save that. More comics. Um, this is actually a junk mail. This is from Lush. So it's a junk mail. And I thought, how cute are these? So eventually I'll cut these out and use them on something. Who knows what? I might be looking for the right piece. Some more painted paper, another book cover. Um, this is just painted paper. Apparently I had something out and I was messing around with it. So this is uh, wallpaper. This is actually wall borders. I got these a while back. Um, all you have to do is stop in your wallpaper place and ask them if they have any old outdated wallpapers and they have some really really cool patterns I ended up taking what I wanted out of them look at this isn't that neat and then um, I got rid of the rest I sent it on to like a Salvation Army or a Thrifty or Goodwill that type of thing but yeah look at this how cool are these so this is again it's a wallpaper border book that I got these out of so eventually I'll use those I'm sure um, this is, this is actually paper from a casino. It was a really thick paper. I loved it. So, you know, that had to come home. These are out of the Somerset Studio books, just, um, pieces of paper, different artist paper that I'll use. Uh, this was a magazine that I cut up. I just, again, like the fact that it had all these words and then it had this, like, handwriting on it. And I just thought that was cool. So I kept that. Um, this is a couple of those picture frames or uh, certificate certi certification frames. Um, I got these at my old job. And uh, I had some certificates in them, so I just took them out. What a great, you know, black paper to use. This is a piece of Braille. I don't know if you can see it. Probably not. Um, it was a Braille book that I found at a junk store, a thrift store, something like that. And it's an actual storybook. Um, so I have a couple pages of that in here. This is just plain white paper. And more envelopes. Uh, this is a friend of mine sent to me. Uh, Mary Abrams from the Meredith. And I love it. She wrote on it. And then she did this paint over it and it's just really cool I want to put that pocket up somewhere but for right now it's in here so here's my warning be prepared when you get into the mixed media world to decide <laughs> and have space and have room to store all of these kinds of goodies because the more you do um, the more you get it seems um, this actually was a junk book. Well, it was an advertising book. This is for baloney and what is it for? I don't know. Boar's Head. Okay, so this is a Boar's Head magazine talking about their different meats and stuff. Um, this was a painting that I had had sent to me. So I took it and I made it into the cover of this and voila, I have an instant journal. So, you know, like I said, my warning is be ready. Be ready to collect goodies and 
be ready to have way more than you'll ever use. Um, if you don't, I'd be surprised. And there we go. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this week. As always, have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating, and I'll talk to you guys next week. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.